one of the National Football League. And it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Monarchs and the Cats. And it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us in the capital city of Columbus, Ohio. Today, it's the opener of the 2023 NFL season between the London Monarchs and the Columbus Cats. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL in 2023 on EA Sports. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out in the third year of a young career out of Alabama, it's Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, and had the biggest cannon for him. But can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Now you can exhale. The season is officially underway. Plenty of work done during the offseason, camp, and the preseason that led to that first throw of the year. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Ball on the 39. Here's second down at seven. Now Jones. And his throw is incomplete. Ramondre Stevenson, the intended receiver, and it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing Jones. Under pressure and down he goes. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. The back deep is Britton Covey. Taken in at the 22. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And they will take over first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by someone who has proved doubters wrong his entire career. MVP runner-up a season ago, Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. From the 38 now, here's second in a yard. Now Hurts going to keep it running left. And oh, he caught it up. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And that one coming on his opening carry of the season. Do you give him a mulligan? You would like to, but this game counts. <laughs> if this yeah. were preseason, he'd get a mulligan. But this is for real, so not expecting that at all. Got to find a way to take care of it. I'm sure he'll get other opportunities. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Jones over the middle complete. That's Parker. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. Second down and three. Right, 
Looking to throw. Jones. They'll find Parker again. Complete. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Back to throw. Jones. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. So this city, Columbus, Ohio, they've got the hockey team, soccer team, minor league baseball is here. Of course, Ohio State is the behemoth. Now they've got an NFL franchise to call their own now, though. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, you've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, well, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch, Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something, when you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys, I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero, like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear? Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He completes it to Julio Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Throwing his Hurts. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Hurts going to keep it running right. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Burt sets up to throw it. And that will be incomplete. Some mistakes already in the first quarter. If he holds on to that one, first down. Yeah, I guarantee you that at least one defensive back out there has reminded him of that fact, trying to get into his head and hoping that'll affect him the rest of the game. The kick by Elliott is good, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, I tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. 
field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. This now a third and four. Brings up third and four. Operating from the gun, Jones. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. Here's Bryce Barringer now. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Christian Barmore in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Here's Hurts to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. So the completion there, and CD, as we know, trying to defend against an NFL quarterback, that's one thing. Trying to defend against a mobile NFL quarterback, that's quite another. What's the plan here defensively? Well, the pass rush has to still try and get to him, especially the guys on the edge, but they're going to go maybe a, a, a count slower, right? They want to make sure they don't get too far on field where he steps up and takes off through a lane. The same is true for those interior guys as well. So you've got to change it up with him, try and keep him hemmed into the pocket, and occasionally you throw a spy on him, a fast linebacker or one of your extra defensive backs who can dance with him a little bit if he takes off and runs. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and five. They're going to look to throw. Out route, he finds his man, it's Jones. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. The clock running here, under a minute to go now in the first quarter of a 3-0 game. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he's got it to about the 40. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's London with the football. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. They'll set up a throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And his kick is good. Cool. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. 
That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. They are still in search of their first points in the ball game, but only down 6 nothing as they begin with a first down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Now this offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Jones on first down. Open man is born. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. Back to throw. Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. First down. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. Looking to throw. Jones. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and nine at the 45 yard line. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end, in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Off the play fake, Jones. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. That's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop him. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure, and these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, and that'll be complete to Stevenson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Back to throw. Jones. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Well, Fletcher Cox, he's been doing this for a lot of years. And another sack to his ledger there. They bring their punter out there now. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday I'm press it a little bit. This might be the case. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. On the option to give to Swift here. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. 
Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That's multiple times now. He's tagged him with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go. Jones goes diving, and he's got it. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> oh, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Christian Barmore able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the gun, it's Hertz. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Now a give right side swift. Jonathan Jones there to make the stop. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down, here's Hurts. And it's caught. Touchdown. DeAndre Swift, 26 yards. And the Monarchs are able to extend their lead. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead now stands at 13. So that drives seven plays in length. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. They find themselves down 13-0 here as they try to get things started offensively. First and ten. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. A bullet throw, but incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. So they bring out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. But first down, Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They'll drop to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. 
Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. At their own 14-yard line. Here's Jones, throwing to start the drive. He finds Parker. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Looking to throw, Jones. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He'll go underneath here to Stevenson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 30 seconds to go in the first half. Now a second and two. Now Jones. A quick throw, but incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Chad Ryland on for the field goal. A 52-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. to Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break. You obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. One final go for this offense here in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. And then lastly, on Monday Night Football, those fans will be riled up as it'll be a good matchup between their guys and what equates to be a very tough opponent. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. 
And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. On second down, Swift. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Throwing Jones. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. London about set to take over on offense. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got a man, it's Brown. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second and one now from the 21. Now Hurts on the option right. Oh, able to, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Monarchs are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So a designed run all the way, and he took it the distance. I don't know that anybody saw that coming. Well, on this play, how about the vision of it, being able to see the open field, make his move, and get there. Oftentimes, defenses have a spy for the quarterback position to try and take care of it. On that play, if they did, it certainly He's didn't lost. work. Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Marcus Jones, a return man. And he won't quite Marcus make it to the 25. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And it has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Jones throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Back to throw. Jones. To the sideline and incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt. London about set to take over on offense. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Hurt sets up to throw it. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Hurts. And a throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And on now is the punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scald-out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well... I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. From the 25 on second down, Jones. First target, first catch at a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Meanwhile, Jones' throw taken in by Bourne. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Take it in at the 22. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And they will take over first and 10. London about set to take over on offense. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. That's Keon White, who worked his way in and made the play. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Takes this to the 45. Not much space there after the nice move. So give him two yards there on the completion. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Throwing is Hurts. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. 
It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it, and that will extend their lead even further. Now three more points tacked on at this margin, getting more comfortable by the minute. And with the lead where it is, you can actually feel good about field goals. We talk all the time about scoring sixes, not threes. But in this case, they're just looking to chew up some time and come away with points. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. The drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. Now, able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Second and seven from the 20. Brings up second and seven at the 20-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, Jones. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. We're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They had the double-digit lead at halftime, and they have continued to roll. They're hard to stop right now. I think what we're seeing is an example of a team that has it figured out in this ball game. And whatever the adjustments are the defense has made, <laughs> hasn't, slowed them, hasn't phased them at all. They either anticipated them or they've been so far ahead that they just can't catch up. Now it's just a search to add. To the lead. They go play action with Hertz. In trouble, and he's taken down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight yard loss. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Tough spot here, third down and 11. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. And they'll send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler, rather more complex, in order to try and fashion together a drive. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And that is incomplete. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. There have been no struggles here for this crew. I mean, they were up double digits at halftime, and they've just expanded that here in the second half. 
and it appears there are no answers from the defensive side. I think right now, if I'm the coordinator, if I'm down on the field, if I'm wearing a hat, I've already thrown it. If it's a visor, it's sale, right? My game plan is down by my feet right now because nothing I've drawn up appears to be working. Well, he's going to have to find something right now to stop this offense. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That second down play nets a minus four. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. First down, Clarks. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Columbus. As we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Brings up second and ten. At the 40-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. It's going to be incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there. Providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch. And normally, he's a sure-handed target. Out of the gun now on third down. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be fourth down. And they bring their punter out there now as he's on here to punt it away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. These fans just kind of beside themselves right now. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Delay of game, Austin. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. Now Zappi. Open man is born. Little power on the move that time. It's still tackled shy of the 20. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Zappi back to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Fourth down now. Here's Zappi. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. On first and ten, it hurts. And this is caught. 
For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Illegal touching. Offense. Now a second and ten. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Hurts throw there taken in by Smith. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. This offense so far on third down, just a 20% success rate at 2 of 10. This will be third and six. On the handoff, this is Swift. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Second and 10. Once again, here's Zappi. He finds Parker. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Here comes third and about a foot. Looking to throw, Zappi. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Zappi. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Parker. So the completion good for six yards, and yeah, that will bring up second down. Brings up second and four at the 37-yard line. Now Zappi. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The play fake, and now here's Zappi. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick, and they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 46-yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Fights loose. And he's going to be met at about the 43. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. Back to throw here. He's got Smith here. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So the completion good for seven there. 
And that's going to make it fourth down. A 53-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 41-yard line. And Zappi to throw. Right back to his running back, Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Delay of game, off the That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still third down. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Zappi. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Fourth down. Here's Zappi. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And We've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. And he'll be taken down at the 34. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Right back to Swift again on second down. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 75 yards on the ground here for Swift. And he's got a first down as well. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Here's second and seven. Once again, it's Swift. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. 
Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, it's hard to put your finger on whether this is something to celebrate or something maybe the offense is embarrassed by, but that's now six field goals he's made in this game alone. Yeah, he's bailed them out quite a bit so far, but it's very comforting to know that you have a kicker that's got your back. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Columbus's offense just about ready to go again. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end a, as you end a ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. And we'll see if they go back to base. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed and we'll get a review and this being inside two minutes of play everything coming from up above. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. Zappi now on first and ten. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Second and ten. Zappi looks to throw it. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. I think this one offensively, this is one where you just say, let's move on. Let's not even watch the game tapes from this one. Yeah, you might just want to throw it in the trash, act like it was never there in the first place. Yeah, just say we're good. I actually have heard of a coach in the past who took his team out to the practice field and ceremonially buried the game films from the prior game when they got clobbered. That was his way of putting it behind them. So they bring out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fair catch signal for and taken at about the 15-yard line. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And this has been quite a performance to kick off the new year on the road, no less, as they try to finish things off here in the fourth quarter. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for London, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Columbus, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.